to get out of yours, I'm going to do another mop water boil experiment. This time with a CIP, so I'm going to fill this up as best I can and we'll start um, boiling. Okay, viewers, I can't wait an ingenious way to try and um, aid in filling this up for a small hole. As you can see, it's quite a small hole. No bigger than this screw, so the smaller the hole is the better, because when it starts to boil, it should act like a kettle and whistle. I'm cutting the um, uh, a nozzle off a high quality spray hand pump. Taking that off and just clamping on the outlet of this 12 volt pump so I can nice constant stream of a very fine jet of water to feed through that hole to fill it up. So yeah, I get to set this up and we'll see how it works. Okay, the oil's got a big battery charger here and we'll test this out. Might be a bit to climb at first. Oh, there we go. Oh, plenty of pressure. I don't know if it's a hose clamp on that. That's working very well. Alright. Always unplug. I'm going to put a hose clamp on that and we can start filling this up. Alright, we always after lots of mucking around. Finally got it to work. Kept blowing leaks, kept blowing it off, just kept blocking up, so... Fingers crossed it's going to work. Now I can't really do this on camera in case this bloody thing blows, but basically what I'm going to do is going to hold that fine jet, concentrate it in that hole like that, and fill it up. So yeah, have it like that, even better. So I can get the most water in there. So yeah, see how that works out. May not be as um, easy as I think, but anyway, we'll give it a go. Oh, the oil's a bit tedious, but it worked. It's a bit of a bubble here now, so I've got the little air bubble right here, it sits here, when a CRT sits right on its neck. So that's perfect, so that should be enough to whistle and steam about. So. I might be doing the experiment now. Far too dangerous. And there's water around, so once this all dries up, it should be most probably tomorrow, so I'll be doing this experiment tomorrow, so yeah. Okay, viewers, I'm going to repair this lawnmower under this particular deck. And the plastic sheet that goes here. I don't really like being plastic in particular because the debris hits it and smashes it, but yeah. That's where it fits in there and it slides in there and it acts as a chute which matches up with that one perfectly. But as you can see the old one, a lot of red ink repairs I've made to it. Frankenstein style repairs, except I've used um, bits of tin and pot rivets to reinforce it. And the mounts here have actually come off. Hang on, yeah, that's the top half there. So it sits up, it sits like that. So the blade's usually spinning in this area here, so that's how it would normally mount. It's a bit there where it lines up on the um, deck. There's a little part here that's supposed to be a um, look like that and have an eye in it. Same with this end. But that's all been smashed off and this has fallen down. You can see the blade's been nibbling it. And today when I use it, the damn thing fell off completely when I went to start it and the engine fired. And it had a clunk. Tipped it over and it found that. So yeah. So, good thing I ordered a replacement. Genuine part, so I'll be putting this on. Okay, viewers, you can see how this thing lines up in there. And that's our chute. There you go. Now, I do recommend, especially with alloys, and if the alloy's in elements like this where it's moist and always getting crud in it, I recommend using anti seize. This stuff is expensive, but it's bloody good stuff. So, put a bit on your bolt. Then put your bolts in, and they'll stay in there. And it'll help to, um, prevent um, your bolts locking up next time you go to take them out. So the original, that's the original bolt was supposed to go there. But on this side, the um, alloy had corroded away, and it, the bolt started slipping. So I've had to replace that with a stainless steel bolt. So yeah, I had to bend a washer up to repair the old one. So there's the rest of it. So I'll put these on with some anti seize and should be fixed. Yeah, the blade might do it a sharpening too, but I'll see if I can do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty blunt. Okay, viewers, it's all done. Nice new shoot. It's much better now, so that's just my brother out there doing the burnout. So yeah.
Thanks for watching.